water views, resort style amenities, and in the best location in all of Orlando. My name is Gabriela Soto and welcome to a new video. Today, I find myself in the Lake Nona region where I'm gonna show you what could be your future home. Now the property I'm showing you guys today is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom with 2,298 square feet. A brand new home in one of the most desirable neighborhoods in all of Orlando. Now this specific property, what you're gonna see today, I would probably say is a masterpiece. Everything makes sense. And of course the builder has showcased all of the incredible materials that they are able to use to make this home more yours and adapt to what your family needs. Now, I do not want to hold off on this beautiful home. Let's start with this tour. Now, walking in through the main entrance of this property, the first thing we're going to be welcomed by is this main foyer where we're going to have extremely high ceilings, plenty of room to decorate. You're going to be welcomed by this gorgeous ceramic tile. And this is what I mean by the top quality materials throughout the entire property. As you can see, this is just something that not all the builders are able to give you. They'll usually give you like the very basic type of tiles. And these are just absolutely breathtaking. Now, right from the entrance, we're going to take a quick right and visit what could be your office. Or if you desire, you can make this an extra bedroom, making this a four bedroom. Now this space, I absolutely love. It's just beautiful. You have the view of the front of the house. When you add some gardening, it would look absolutely perfect. If you're like me that you sometimes just bring work to home where you can most definitely finish those deals, those documents, finish that work over here in peace and quiet in a space that is most definitely very cozy and easy to concentrate. And like I mentioned, everything in this home, not just beautifully decorated, it is a model home. So of course they will make this beautiful, but you can most definitely showcase it throughout the property, the quality materials. This particular office is in wood and you can most definitely bring that throughout the entire property if you desire. Walking out of the den or the flex room, we're going to strip a quick right where we're going to visit the shared bathroom. I do love when builders add that extra half bathroom. So when you have family over entertain or just don't want to really share your main bathrooms with guests, this could be perfect. You have a regular vanity and you have your toilet with a private light, private door, private everything. So very, very nice. And I like that it's in a separate hallway so it doesn't really stand out. You have an extra closet right here for extra towels, extra linens. Stepping back into the main hallway, welcome to the open concept. And this is just the type of house that you just gotta stop, take a look at it and just just enjoy how beautiful and just pristine. It's just serene, it's cozy. It is just so easy on the eye. Starting right ahead with the kitchen, we're just gonna first of all talk about the island. This is a very much extended island with plenty of space to have at least six to seven even adults out here. If you like to entertain, this is beautiful. I always just see, I mean, I'm Puerto Rican guys, so we would have like our pernil, you know, during Christmas time, this could be perfect to have the feast of food and just have people over and of course enjoy the area, enjoy the home. This is an island that of course has multiple things that we want to mention. We have outlets throughout the entire island. You have drawers all the way through. Your dishwasher is also on this side of the island. You have a deep sink with matte black finishes. And of course, something I found very, very curious talking about things that make this property stand out is that on the side of the island, you actually have extra cabinets. With something like this, you can most definitely tell that the builder built this home with the strategy, of course, making sure that you can keep as many things as possible and of course, take advantage of the space that you have in this property. Another thing we want to highlight about this kitchen is the stove. We have a cooktop in gas. This is very rare these days that they add gas in these homes. So when they do find them, I definitely want you guys to take a look at them because they are rare. And this is just a beautiful kitchen. And I love that they have the gas. I'm telling you 
rice and everything just tastes so much better when you cook with gas. Another thing we want to mention is we have kind of like the teal gray color backsplash. One of the finishes that you can pick when you're choosing the colors in your home in the design studio. You have your vents, something that you can upgrade to as well. If not, you would have just the traditional stainless steel vent. Your appliances are something that you would have to determine which ones would best fit your family. In this case, they have the upgraded microwave, the upgraded oven. This is something that you do not have to have. You can just have your traditional microwave in your traditional range if it better fits you and your family. Now, finishing with the kitchen, unfortunately, we have to continue. If it were me, I would just stay here all day long just staring at it because it's just gorgeous. We're gonna continue with the mudroom, with the laundry, and the garage. Starting first with the mudroom, adjacent to the mudroom, we have the pantry. I do like that it's away from the kitchen, so it's just not something so awkward over in the kitchen. It just makes more sense on this side of the house considering the layout of the property. You do have sort of like a walk-in closet style of pantry, but plenty of room for food, spices, and everything you might wanna need. And of course, this pantry does have a door that you can close off and of course make private. And over here we have this door, which would be access to your HVAC system. Something that I do like to point out is that when they do it like this, so when you need to do maintenance, it's pretty easy to maintain, change those filters, pretty easy to access. Over here, this door, in theory, this would be your garage. It is currently the model home, so please ignore the offices. You would fit around two vehicles out here, so it's really comfortable and able for you to, of course, maybe keep this as a place where you can keep all your toys, knickknacks, paddle boards, kayaks, and everything, and maybe just keep your car in the driveway. You would have a driveway for about two vehicles as well. Coming back in, turning a quick left, we're gonna step into this actually laundry room area. Something I also wanna point out about the laundry room area is that you have the choice of adding this extra sink in the laundry room area, something that I usually see as very beneficial as in terms of doing those chores, it just makes it so much easier. But this is a laundry room that most definitely fits that extra large washer dryer machine. And you do have extra cabinet space for all the things you might wanna keep out here. Now guys, let's continue with the rest of the home. with this section of the home we're gonna once again pass the kitchen because i just can't get over this kitchen guys i am in love this is probably my favorite kitchen and yeah i just love it i'm just not gonna lie about it now stepping out of the kitchen into the main hallway we're gonna lead into what could be the living room space i do like the setup because even though it's an open concept it has plenty of space for you to have pretty big sofa sections and extra seatings but of course still have enough room for an entertainment section and then of course just decorations that you can add in this particular open concept something that not a lot of builders know how to do properly. Some of them will do an open concept and not give you enough space to have maybe your couch in your dining room area next to each other. Sometimes they're just a little bit too squeezed into each other. This section, they turned it into like the dining area. You do have a pretty big chandelier. Something I wanna point out is the tracing ceilings is something that you can add on if you really like to. They do have a double layer tracing ceiling, so that is up to you and your family if that's something that's your, something that you're looking for. But I will say it just definitely opens up the space so much. It looks so elegant. And if you can definitely do so, I would highly recommend the property. It's probably the reason the property feels so big and so fresh. Besides the fact that we have four sliding doors that lead to your backyard, which we will visit later in the video. Passing the dining area, we're gonna step into the left side of the property. We're gonna have two bedrooms and a shared bathroom. Starting with bedroom number one, this one towards the front of the home. Very cozy room, you have carpet in the bedroom, something you can upgrade if you want to. Queen side bed with pretty big frame, you still have room to walk around. Dressers also very comfortably positioned. You have room for chandeliers. I do love this fixture right here. It just gives you an idea of how much space and how high the ceilings are. You can definitely appreciate the chandelier in this type of room. Beautiful window with view of the backyard. And you do have a traditional closet right over here with sliding doors. You have shelving also installed, which is something always a bonus when you're moving in. Pretty quick, of course, you don't have to worry about. Just come in, hang your clothes, you're good to go. 
Exiting from bedroom number one, we're gonna turn a quick right and visit the shared bathroom. This shared bathroom has quartz countertops, white cabinets, you have the long mirror, your toilet, your tub, and of course, a beautiful wall with ceramic tile that looks like porcelain. You can add porcelain if you really want to, but this is just something that we most definitely want to point out because when they bring it all the way up, it just looks like a bathroom right out of a magazine. Finishing off with this bathroom, let's step into bedroom number two. Bedroom number two, same thing, a lot of space, plenty of room for a queen size. You have extra room for even the bean, bean bags and extra seating for those kids, you know, to have all the toys and everything. You have another very comfortable closet, very similar to the other one. And of course, just a room that you can most definitely grow in and of course, take up the space and appreciate the area. You do have a lot of room if you have multiple kids. This could be a place where they can most definitely enjoy it as kids, but also as they're growing, you can definitely evolve into them. Now guys, we're done with the bedrooms. Let's go check out the primary suite. Passing your living room space tucked in a corner of this beautiful property, we have the most important suite, the primary suite. A bedroom that most definitely is serene, is beautiful, it's fresh, it's cozy. You have beautiful colors. They have the brick walls throughout that just, it just stands out. I haven't really seen it in a model home before or in any properties before, and I would definitely recommend. They just look beautiful, stands out, definitely elevates, it's already decoration. So even if you actually look, the property doesn't even have that much decoration. It's just the colors just automatically decorate the property. You do have beautiful windows also freshening up the space with natural light. Even on this section, you can probably even fit an extra desk or extra seating for you to enjoy, you can just definitely tell that this is a much bigger room than the rest of the property. Now, continuing with the other section that's also really important, which is the primary bathroom. This is a bathroom that is very elegant, very nicely laid out. You have an extended vanity with dual vanity sinks. You have, of course, plenty of drawers, plenty of cabinet space, an extended mirror as well. You have a tub, which is something that is always nice, you know, after a crazy day at work, come here, relax, glass of wine. You have on top of the tub, you do have a ledge with a window up there in quartz as well so you can most definitely decorate or do as you please up there in terms of the shower you have glass for a wall over here you have a nice ledge as well on the side of the shower so you can use it to hold your soap bars and all the things you might want to keep in here i do love the brass color features that they have throughout the bathroom usually people have been using black these days but I usually say that brass never really goes out of style. As the years go by, this is something that you will definitely won't get tired of looking at. Then we step into the walk-in closet. Most definitely a space that I love. I love that it's extended. You have extra nooks and crannies where you can definitely hide shoes, hide clothes, and just definitely organize it better to what you need. You can most definitely split this type of closet between two people very comfortably and of course, take advantage of the beautiful layout that this closet has. It even has a nice little like tandem right over here, which I usually love because you can maybe add some cabinet space back there and just keep the things you want to keep a little bit more hidden back there. Now guys, we're pretty much done with the interior. Let's go check out the backyard. Oh, didn't see you there. Thanks for joining me in the backyard. This is definitely an area where I just sat here for five minutes and you just feel very much relaxed. This particular property has a covered lanai already included, so there's always a bonus. I usually probably even recommend adding some barbecue or some other fun features so you can most definitely enjoy this area. This beautiful backyard definitely showcases what you can do with your property. This just gives you an idea. This is a very elaborate type of pool, a very impressive type of pool as well. You have your jacuzzi and different depths throughout the pool. This is just an idea of how big of a yard you would have with this type of property. Because the property is so wide, you tend to have probably some of the bigger lots in the neighborhood. There are some other options in the neighborhood as well. So maybe if you're really not in need of such a big home like this one, if you're not really interested in taking care of a big single family 
single-family home, but something always to include is the fact that these properties will always be sitting in some form of water view. There are some options inside. If you're not a fan of looking at water views, but I usually recommend it as it just makes this space much more serene. Now guys, we're pretty much done with the tour of this glamorous home. I really hope you enjoyed. Let's go back inside and talk about numbers, location, and everything you need to know about this builder. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this tour. I really love this property, so I really hope you guys loved it as much as I do. I usually say if I were gonna choose a property, a single story home, this would probably be it. It's just very nicely laid out and the location obviously helps a lot considering that if you're trying to raise kids over here, it has one of the best school districts Orange County has to offer. Now about this specific property that we saw today, this was a three bedroom with two and a half bathrooms. You could turn it into a fourth bedroom if you turn the office into a bedroom, which in the case of three bedroom would just be a bonus room. This is a property that is most definitely something that you can customize. You can build it from scratch, watch it build, choose every finishes, go to a design studio and just determine what are the features that you want to remove or add that better fit you and your family. These type of properties have an asking price or a base price of $744,990. There are some premiums if you're looking to have more of a different type of lot, the water views or any other type corner lots will also have some form of premiums, but it will also be determined depending on availability at the time of contract, which is something that you guys most definitely can give us a call and we can guide you and determine which are the lots available at the time. And of course, make sure that the property fits in those lots currently available. Cause as you saw, if you want to add some form of pool, yard or anything in your backyard, you most definitely want to have enough room for all those additions that you might want to do over here in this type of property. This community is really here in Lake Nona. You're right next door to Laureate Park, really close by to really nice gated communities throughout the area as well. This would be a gated community as well once they finish with all the construction, which would also mean that you do have an HOA which would be in charge of the gate. And of course, a lot of other amenities like fitness centers, dog parks, trails, waterfront trails, splash pads, and many activities. This is like known as so there is a lot of different outdoorsy activities that are included in all of these types of HOAs. This specific HOA has a fee of $353 a month, which would include everything that I mentioned and much more, including even your cable and even your internet. Now, in terms of the area, let's most definitely talk about the area because if you guys are not familiar with Lake Nona, I definitely want you guys to know where we are located and what this region has to offer. This is a region that has most definitely changed the game on how we describe community. There's a lot of really nice neighborhoods coming into the area, all with the concept of being neighbors. There's a lot of properties that have front porches, really nice properties with trails that go right in front of them. So you can most definitely, as you're driving through the neighborhood, see kids in their bikes, skateboards, and just see how this is much more of a family friendly type of neighborhood, a perfect place to raise a family. Like I mentioned, you do have access to Lake Nona High and Laurier Park Middle, and of course, all the elementaries in the area as well. So you most definitely know that your kids will have a really, really great education. In terms of employment, you do have Medical City, which is just five minutes from this location, located here in Lake Nona now where you're also going to be next door to the Wave Hotel, Boxy Park, and have many amenities for you to enjoy in the area without even having to leave the region. Narcusi Road is the main road, which would be your commercial road over here in this area where you're going to have everything. Walmart, Publix, Aldi, your gas stations, your apartment rentals, your schools, everything is going to be in Narcusi Road. And Narcusi Road in the last year has seen an immense amount of new developments, even the connection to the new neighborhood by Lake Nona, Sunbridge, which is also coming up. And you can most definitely check out one of their properties in one of my videos just make sure to subscribe so you can most definitely take a look at the rest of the other videos I have in that area. Now, in terms of what you have in the area, in terms of location, what cities and things you have in the region, you do have MCO International Airport at just 25 minutes. You have Walt Disney World at just 35 minutes, Universal just 40, it's just a little bit more north of the Walt Disney area. 
You do have downtown Orlando at just 30 minutes as well. So if you're trying to commute from work, this is still very practical. It's just a matter of preference as well. This is just an area that has seen a momentum in terms of new construction. So in the last couple of years, many new communities have been built, but also a lot of new roads and connections have been continued to be added in the area. And we're gonna see a lot of new connections too. We know that 528 is getting an extension, 408 is also getting an extension, and 417 will also be getting an extension to this area. Area, which will ease up the traffic in the area. Now guys, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions about this property, the Lake Nona region or the Central Florida area, do not hesitate on giving us a call. My team and I are always here committed to making sure that we provide the best properties, the best regions, and of course the best opportunities for you and your family to make a decision to moving here to Central Florida. There are a lot of opportunities into buying a home also towards the end of the year. Just make sure to reach out because there's a lot of builders giving a lot of incentives, closing costs, buying down your rates, and of course giving you the best opportunity for you to get into the home with the least amount of money. This builder also does have a lot of incentives so make sure to reach out so we can give you the updated features. I do not want to say the exact incentives because they do change month to month and will also depend on the type of property, the time you go under contract and the time for it to be finished because of course the incentives of a home that's going to be move in ready 30 to 45 days are probably going to be a little bit different than a home that's going to be built in 8 to 10 months if you're building it from scratch. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly videos. We also do post a lot in our social media. And do not forget to follow me and my team on our social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, because we are there always active, looking for the best opportunities for you. And over there, you can meet some of my team members who most likely will be helping you and guiding you through the process of buying or selling at home. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.